Good morning to you all. I'm Maurice Barrett. I've got another Monday morning meditation for you. And I'm asking the question, who should we bless? Should we bless everyone? Are we allowed to bless everyone? Well, Jesus clearly said that we should bless our enemies. But that's personally against me. Am I allowed to bless people who, are, who have not done bad to me? Well, I'll read you the scripture that provoked my thought. Second Epistle of John, chapter 1, verse 7 to 11. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever therefore transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abides in the doctrine of Christ, he has both the Father and the Son. If there come unto you any that bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house. Neither bid him God speed, God bless. For he that bids him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Now, this is a specific instance I understand. I, I just provoke my thoughts. It, it's saying that if a Christian comes with a doctrine that's against Christ, then you can't invite him into your house and you can't bid him God bless. So, therefore, we can't just say God bless to anyone. Think of this. Can we bless people that God has cursed? You know, in the Bible, Balaam couldn't curse God's people. Why? Because God had blessed them. And conversely, we shouldn't bless people who are under God's curse, God's judgment. You know, God cursed his old people in the Old Testament for disobedience. Let, let's read the blessings and the curses. It's well known. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1 and 2 says this. And it shall come to pass... If you shall diligently hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord your God will set you on high above all nations that are on the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, if you shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord. So the blessings are a consequence of obedience. So it's not automatic. God doesn't bless you unless you're obedient. In fact, if you're disobedient, God will curse you. Verse 15, now there's many more verses about the curses. And it shall come to pass, if you hearken not to the voice of the Lord your God, to observe, observe and do his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. And God lists all the curses. And there's three times as many verses as of the blessings. So, blessings are a consequence of obedience. Curses are a consequence of disobedience. Think about it. Would you bless your children? When they were disobedient, I wouldn't. I'd praise them, I'd bless them when they're obedient. When they're disobedient, they come under my judgment. I will punish them. I can't bless them for being disobedient. Can we ask God to bless a country? My friends in America say, God bless America. It just rolls off the tongue. But can we bless a country? that allows laws of witchcraft and abortion, homosexuality, many laws that go against God's laws. Can we bless that country that passed those laws? I don't think so. Surely those countries are under God's judgment. I live in Great Britain and I believe we're under God's judgment. 1952, we repealed the Witchcraft Act and said it's all right to practice witchcraft. So now we've got a lot of satanic ritual abuse with young children and, and terrible things are going on. We accepted homosexuality. We accepted so many things in this country and passed laws because we don't want to retain God in our knowledge. God doesn't bless a country when they pass those laws. They're under God's judgment. What about individuals like Boris Johnson, Prime Minister of Great Britain, or Donald Trump, or Joe Biden, whoever will, will finally 
be inaugurated in January. We're still not into that time yet. They're allowed of God for sure. But can we bless them if they're passing laws and deceiving the country and telling lies? Think about it. You know, Hitler was allowed by God and it was part of God's plan. Uh, but we couldn't bless him because he was a wicked man. Well, maybe you'll say, well, we're told to pray for those in government. Of course we are. Let me read you the scripture where it says it. But we're not told to to bless them. We're not told to pray that they'll succeed or be blessed of God. We're told that we may live a quiet and peaceful life. Let me read you the scripture. 1 Timothy 2 verse 1 and 2. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for those in authority. And this is a prayer that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Pray that you'll live a peaceful life. Because people at the top are serving Satan, they're not serving God. Whatever people think, whatever the politicians say that they're Christian, at the very top they're serving Satan. He's the God of this world and he gives them the power and the kingdoms and the glory. So anyway, the time's gone. But think about it. Before it just rolls off your tongue, God bless. Be careful you're not partaker of the evil deeds. Well, I'm talking to Christians. And if my enemies are listening, I can say, God bless you. I can seriously say it. But you decide. Think about it this week. And have a wonderful week. God bless you. See you next Monday for another vlog.